Hey, what it do, everybody? Welcome back to the channel. And for everybody that's new, thank you for tuning in. Uh, today, we're going to be talking about something that's been kind of driving me up the wall a little bit lately. Apparently, Californians forgot how to buy stuff. If you guys have been watching the news, San Francisco, Los Angeles is just insane right now. So as lighthearted of a video as this is, I do stand behind what I say right now. Theft drives me nuts. So we're going to take you guys on a trip with us to Home Depot. I'm going to show you guys the proper way to buy a tool. And if you guys know anyone that has seemed to have forgotten their way, Go ahead and send them this video and hopefully it will refresh in their minds because theft, especially with tools, is one of the things that I cannot stand because tools are how a man provides for his family. So with that said, we're going to go ahead and jump on in this video. Should be a pretty good one. We're going to have some other stuff, but let's go ahead and roll. Now, as tempting as it might be to put on a dark hoodie, sunglasses, a hat, and a mask to cover up your face, try to avoid that at all costs. And then next you grab a shopping cart that someone left out here in the middle of nowhere just to be nice. <laughs> Jeez. Next step, get ready to wait a little bit because everybody's busy doing other stuff. And um, this is the beautiful gun we want right there. So we're gonna wait for it. And uh, yeah, hopefully they have one in stock. I'm gonna buy some nails for it while we're here. And then once you've actually bought the tool, you walk outside and you take a look at your dump truck that says this and you realize that today's a good day and you go ahead and put the tools inside the cab. And then you return the cart because you're a decent human being. Then you get back in your truck with a worn out steering cover because you drive way too much. Go ahead and turn the key over to get it started. Put the truck into gear and you go on your way. And the next step is probably the most important. You gotta keep on working so that you can actually afford to buy these tools. Getting loaded up with some more rock. All right, now for one of the final steps. Now that we're back home, we gotta take it in, open it up, throw a couple nails in it and see how it does. Looking good, just needs a battery. Gonna go ahead and throw in a 5.0. And let's see. Next, we throw in a rack of nails. Next, you turn it on for the first time. Green light, ready to go. Let's give it a whirl. Here goes the first shot. Not bad, not bad. I'm digging it. All right, now that everybody's seen the correct way to buy a tool, instead, we're gonna go ahead and jump into the rest of this video, which I'll explain more once we are outside. All right, now in all seriousness, guys, this does kind of drive me nuts. Uh, theft is one of the things that I just cannot stand, uh, especially tools. That's how people make their living. So when somebody steals their tools, they're literally taking food off of people's tables. So if you know anybody that needs to see this, 
go ahead and spread it on. But moving along, we are going to show you guys some cool stuff in this video. Uh, I got some new sunglasses, not these ones, but some other ones that are pretty rad that I want to show you guys. And then I'm going to be asking for your guys' help for a future video. So in videos past, we've done some stuff like the Zuma jump. I did like a little jump into the pond that like bruised my leg pretty bad. Uh, we did the, the massive slingshot. Every once in a while, we get creative. Now, we're putting together a video for Christmas. It's just going to be pretty rad. It's like one of the simplest video ideas that I've ever had, but it's going to be awesome. It's going to involve a burn barrel, might involve the big excavator. It's going to involve some crazy skilled acrobatics, um, probably some guitar playing. There's going to be some redneck shenanigans going on in the background. So if you guys have any like suggestions that might make for like a cool topping in a video, put it down in the comments below and it might make its way into probably what's going to be the biggest video I've ever done. And um, there's going to be a lot of coordination that goes on this one. So I'm hoping it's pretty rad. I hope I don't disappoint. But with that said, we're going to go ahead and jump into the actual part of this video. I just wanted to get that out there so we could get some comments going down below. But let's go ahead and jump on in the rest of this video and let's roll. So I'm thinking of either these ones or these ones. I'm not sure yet. These things actually sound pretty good. I think I'm going to get a pair of them. All right, guys, seriously, my mind is blown by these glasses. They sound so good. Um, and the reason I got them, it's kind of our early Christmas present. Uh, I came up to Sacramento yesterday and realized I forgot my earbuds. As you guys know, driving the Peterbilts is not easy while holding a phone, not to mention it's illegal. So my wife was going to get me these for Christmas, and so she just said, go ahead and get them anyways, just so I could be safe. But they're rad. Kind of hard to do one-handed because it's magnetic. But here they are. Do, 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 do. More protective. Here they are out of the case. So they look pretty good from the front. They are kind of goofy looking from the side. But once you put them on, they don't look too bad. That is a lot of different languages. The Bose has always been kind of flashy. They got a gold plug for the USB charger. But this part's magnetic, so you just kind of get it close and it uh, fits in there nicely. Nice old car hauler right there. All right, so we're letting Eric try out the Bose sunglasses. So far, he's super digging them. It sounds like you're wearing earbuds, but you can hear everything around you. All right, so I think I think you should come try them out right here. You're right here behind Emilio. Come over here to my truck. Here comes a movie star. So I got the stuff you wanted. You want to be in a YouTube video? Here you go. Keep it on the low. All right. We had some tweakers walking by earlier, talking to the dumb kids. No yeah. Try these things out. Oh, it's pretty sweet. Nice. Let's see, we'll hit play. Oh, what happened? Whoa, I hear from far away. Yeah, shut up. <laughs> I don't know what I did. Let me see them real quick. These ones got more bass. Yeah, well, they're not even turned up that way. Yeah. It's a bit more clear. Yeah, they sound good. Way huh? louder. Yeah? Yeah. Louder than the Ray Bans? Yeah, they're way better. Nice. Okay. The sound on them, yeah, it's amazing. Yeah. And it's pretty did, clear. How much did you pay for yours? 300. 300. These are on sale for 220. There's no camera though. Oh, I'll see. Yeah. That's all right. I got cameras on top of cameras. But yeah, though, I mean, the, yeah, you got them everywhere. Chopper's <laughs> <laughs> calling me. Uh oh, but yeah, dude, on the sound on those. Ah, <laughs> mejor. <laughs> I get to sit in the passenger seat in a dump truck. So today I'm just kind of riding along. Uh, we only need one truck's worth of asphalt today. But in talking with Eric, he says that in my Peterbilt, um, when he first learned to drive truck, when he first learned to drive, oh, I can't talk. When he first learned to drive dump trucks, he drove one of our trucks and it has like a little touch screen on it. And he's, and he's saying that you can watch YouTube videos on there. Seriously, I was chilling watching videos. I don't believe him. I've had the truck for almost four years, and I, I <laughs> like my mind's literally being blown right now because I, I, I don't know. Um, so when we get back, we're gonna go ahead and uh, run. A YouTube video on it. <laughs> <laughs> we're 
We're gonna run some experiments and see if it actually works. So we're gonna take you on one of our trips into Vulcan, which might end up being a long time because we're not even close to the driveway and uh, we're stuck out on the road. Is it, is it a line all the way up? No, it's just bimbo just stopped right here. Oh. Oh, way to go. Way to go, jerk. This guy's a human base rock. Yeah, in our way. Peter Brick can do this, though. I know. That is the one thing this truck has on me is it's turning radius. It's much better than my trucks. Much, much better. All right, so anytime you bring in material, you always got to get weighed in, typically. And then you'll come back and get your light weight so they can know how much you dumped. And then from there, we'll go get some asphalt and come back again, since we'll have the light weight. So once you get your lightweight, you go get your asphalt, come back and wait again, and that way they know how much you have so they can charge you an arm and a leg for asphalt. Fun fact, but why don't you guess, what do you think the electrical bill on this place is per month? Uh, for this, uh, a good $10,000. So you know the Tiger over by Davis? Yeah. I saw the electrical bill on the counter in there one time. It's $47,000 for the month. For the month? For the month. To run that. Yep, to run one of these things. For electricity. And I think the Tiger plant is smaller. I don't think they do as much. No, they do a lot here. That's yeah. all they do. So this place is probably close to 50 to 60 if I had to guess. Where do you see any more? There's the last one. I thought we were talking about illegal stuff. <laughs> And away we go. That's how you get asphalt. And the total is $1,300 for 13 tons of asphalt. So it comes out to like $100 a ton after taxes. It ain't cheap. You guys see this turn right here? The last three trucks, two of them, completely cut this corner, didn't know how to drive. So only one of the drivers did that turn the correct way that they were supposed to. And for all you girl haters out there, it was a girl driver. And she was the only one that waved at us. Because we stayed back and we were polite. And we did. And we let the truckers do what they're supposed to do, but she's the only one that was a good driver out of the three. So hats off to her. Going back up to the job site. And uh yeah, put it down. Call it a day. Hey, bien? ¿Qué? ¿Lento trae? Oh, ¿estas? Ajá. ¿Quieres probar? ¿Son de, son de música? Sí. Deja que voy a poner una música. ¿Qué quieres escuchar? Está chico, ¿no? ¿Cuánto salen esos? ¿200? ¿Te viene? ¿Eso también? No. ¿Nomás los dentes? No, los dentes. ¿Por qué? ¿Cómo se mira? ¿Quieres probar? ¿Cómo se mira? ¿Eh? Bien. Te mira bien, pero se escucha bien, bien perrón. Y no te madre las orejas. Oh, sí, me las abrí por las cosas adentro. ¿no? Sí. Sí. ¿Tú? ¿Quieres probar? Mira, puedo comprar uno para Navidad, yo solo. ¿Cuánto? ¿Cuánto? 200 dólares más o menos. Ay, oh, ya ver. <risa> ¿Me das? ¿Me van a 
Oh, ponte, los no, no, ponte. Se miran los ángeles ahí. Oh, ponte. Wow. ¡Miau! ¡Miau! <risa> oh, acabó las baterías. Oh. <laughs> All right, well, huge thanks to everybody who watched the video. I really do appreciate it. If you could do me a huge solid, like, subscribe, share this video with your amigos, hit that notification button so you can continue to see the other stuff that we got going on, and I will see you guys next time. Later.